This video will show you how to use the law of sines and cosines to solve problems. The law of sines and the law of cosines can be used to solve for missing angles and sides of triangles. They work for both right triangles and oblique triangles. Oblique triangles are triangles that don't have a right angle. What about the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios? Do they work for all triangles? They don't. They only work for right triangles, but cannot be used to solve oblique triangles. And remember that the Pythagorean theorem can only be used to find the side lengths of right triangles, but not oblique triangles. Let's review the law of sines and cosines. The law of sines tells you that the ratios of the triangle side over the sine of its opposite angle are all the same. In other words, the length of side A over the sine of angle A is equal to the length of side B over the sine of angle B, which is equal to the length of side C over the sine of angle C. And the law of cosines tells you that the square of a side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other sides minus two times the length of those sides times the cosine of the angle opposite. There are three formulas for the law of cosines, one for each side. The trick to solving triangles is figuring out which law or proportion to use. Take a look at the following triangle. Find the measure of x in the triangle below. Which trig function do you think you should use? You actually have a choice for this problem. You can use one of the right triangle trig ratios or the law of sines or cosines. They will all get you the same answer. Here's the sine ratio and the law of sines solved side by side. Notice that you get the same answer. For many problems, you will have a choice in the method you use to solve them, especially if they are right triangles. But there are some triangles where only one method can be used. Find the measure of angle L. First, you have to figure out which trig function to use. It's not a right triangle, so you can't use Socatella. Can you use the law of sines? In order to use the law of sines, you need at least one angle and its opposite side. Since you don't have any given angles in the triangle, you can't use the law of sines. How about the law of cosines? Do you have enough information to use this? You need to find angle L. There's only one angle in the law of cosines equation. The other missing variables pertain to the side opposite that angle and the other two sides of the triangle. It can be helpful to make a list of values. So A in this case is the side opposite the angle, which is 14. B and C can be either side, so let's call B 16 and C 15. Now substitute these values into the equation. Simplify by multiplying, adding and subtracting what you can. Get cosine A by itself and use your calculator to find the inverse cosine and solve to find that A is equal to 53.6 degrees. Let's try another problem. Find the measure of angle U. Again, the first step is to figure out which trig function to use. Since this is not a right triangle, you can't use Sokotoa. Now you need to figure out if you can use the law of sines or cosines. To use the law of sines, you need one side and its opposite angle. Notice that you have that in this triangle. So use the law of sines to solve for angle U. Use the given side and the angle opposite that side to set up the proportion. Then use the unknown angle and the side opposite that for the second fraction. To solve, cross multiply, simplify, and take the inverse sign to find that the angle U is equal to 42.9 degrees. Try the following word problem. A runner goes six miles in a straight line from point A to B. He then turns 120 degrees counterclockwise at point B and continues another four miles in a straight line to point C. How far does he have to run in a straight line to get back to point A? So you want to find the distance of CA. Which trig function should you use? 
Since it's not a right triangle, you will have to use the law of sines or cosines. To test to see if you can use the law of sines, see if you have one side length and its opposite angle measure. Unfortunately, you do not have that in this triangle. So you will need to use the law of cosines. Before you can use the law of cosines, you will need to find the angle opposite side CA. Since the angle is supplementary to 125, you can find it by subtracting 125 from 180 to find that the angle is 55 degrees. Now you have the information you need to solve the problem. Make a list of what you have. Since the side you're looking for is opposite the angle you have, side AC is equal to A, and angle A is equal to 55 degrees. Let B equal 6 and C equal 4. Plug these values into the equation. Use a calculator to simplify the right-hand side. And then take the square root. Find that the missing side is 5 miles long. Trigonometry is helpful in real-world problems when the distances are too large to measure. For example, the distance from Earth to Saturn. Scientists have been able to calculate each planet's distance to the Sun depending on where it is in its orbit. Since the Earth and Saturn are in constant motion along their orbital paths, their distances to each other are constantly changing. Let's imagine that the Earth and Saturn are in the following position. How far apart are Saturn and the Earth? The Earth's distance to the Sun is one astronomical unit, where one astronomical unit is about 93 million miles. At this position in its orbit, Saturn's distance to the Sun is 9.6 astronomical units. To find the distance from the Earth to Saturn, scientists need to find the measure of at least one of the angles in this triangle. There are satellites orbiting the Earth that can calculate the angle made by the Sun, Earth, and Saturn. When the Earth and Saturn are in this position, the angle is 101 degrees. There are also satellites orbiting the Sun that can calculate the angle from the Earth to Saturn. With this information, can you calculate the distance from the Earth to Saturn? You can use the law of sines. Start with a given side and opposite angle for the first fraction, which would be 9.6 over the sine of 101. Since you're looking for x, use side x with its opposite angle for the next fraction, which would be x over the sine of 67. Cross multiply and solve to get that x is equal to 9. This means that when the planets are in this particular position, Saturn is 9 astronomical units away from Earth. That is equal to about 837 million miles. The distance between the Earth and Saturn is constantly changing as the planets orbit the Sun. The distance can range from about 8 astronomical units when they are closest to about 11 astronomical units when they are farthest apart. In review, the law of sines and cosines can be used to find the missing angles and sides of both oblique and right triangles. The law of sines can be used when you have enough information to complete three out of the four parts of the proportion, including at least one side length and its opposite angle. The law of cosines can help you find an angle of a triangle when you are given three side lengths or a missing side when you are given two sides and the enclosed angle. Enjoy!